In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the interquartile range of a data set. The interquartile range is commonly called the IQR. But what is the interquartile range? The interquartile range is the difference between the first quartile and the third quartile of a data set. Specifically, it is the difference between Q3 and Q1. The IQR is commonly called the range of the middle 50% of a data set. Let's examine how to find the IQR by using the following data set. The first thing that you have to do with any given data set is place it in order from least to greatest. After placing your numbers in order, what you have to do is locate the median. The median is the boundary separating the first half of a data set from the second half. With the data set that we have here, we can see that 55 is the middle value, therefore that is our median. After you have located the median, what you have to do is actually find the median of the first half of your data set. So if you look at all of the numbers to the left of 55, which are 45, 48, and 50, what you have to do is figure out what the median is of those three numbers, and it is clear that 48 is in the middle of those three numbers. The median of your first half of your data is called Q1. After finding Q1, you have to take a look at the second half of your data set, or all of the numbers after the median, and figure out what the median is of those three numbers. The median of the second half of your data is called Q3. In this case, that would be 65. Now that we know the values of Q1 and Q3, what we have to do is figure out what is the distance between those two points. The distance or the difference between those two values is the IQR. So after subtracting 48 from 65, we get a difference of 17. So the interquartile range of the given data set is 17. Let's try another example. The first thing that we have to do when finding the IQR is to place our data set in order from least to greatest. But notice this data set is already in order, so we don't have to do that step. The next thing that we have to do is locate the median. Notice that we have an even data set. We have exactly eight numbers in our data set, so there is no single middle number. When that happens, what you have to do is just cut your data set in half and figure out what value would be in the middle of the two numbers that are in the middle? Now we have 32 and 34 here, and we can see that 33 would be in the dead center of those two numbers. But we really don't need to know the value of the median when finding the interquartile range. We really just need to find the median for a boundary line so we can have a first half of a data set and a second half of a data set. So now what we have to do is take the first half of our data set and figure out what the median of the first half is. That's going to be Q1. So what we're going to do is draw a line right in the middle of these four numbers. This would be Q1, but notice there is no single middle number. So what we have to do is figure out what is exactly in the middle of 25 and 28. Now when you have two numbers, and you want to figure out what is exactly in the middle of those numbers, you can take those two numbers and add them together and take the result and divide it by 2. So when we add these values together, we end up getting 53. And when you take 53 and you divide that by 2, we end up getting 26 and a half, or 26.5. Now we have to find the median of the second half of our data set. And we have four numbers in the second half as we do in the first half. So we have to cut that half in half. Notice that we have quarters or quartiles here. And this location is Q3. And we have to figure out what is in the middle of 35 and 40. And that's going to be 37 and a half or 37.5. And remember, to figure out this value, if you cannot do it mentally, is to take these two numbers 
and add them together. In this case, that would be 75. And you would take that total and divide it by 2. And 75 divided by 2 is 37 and 1 half. Now that we know the value of Q3 and Q1, we just have to take those values and subtract them. So let's take 37.5 and subtract that from 26.5. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 7 take away 6 is 1. And 3 take away 2 is also 1. So the IQR of this data set is 11, which means the distance from Q1 to Q3 is 11.